Hoffa Day Tier Wami and Good Evening Commonwealth. Today is Monday, June 13th, 2016. Honks, cheers, signs pushing for an immediate solution to the contract worker cap crisis. Residents from many nationalities share their stories and most of all their concerns about the uncertainty of the coming months as a contract worker in the Commonwealth. Contract workers come together at Kilili Beach in Susupi on Sunday. It's very hard for us because you know we have kids are affected. Understand it because they're still there. But my 10 years old is. We're telling her that if this is happen, we're deported this August. We need to leave you. But mom, how can you leave me? I'm alone. I don't have anybody here. That's the big problem for us. Alma Ibai has been living in the CNMI for 23 years. She works at a Garapin restaurant now. Her status expires on August 12th. Her common law husband's status expires August 8th. They have a five-year-old and a 10-year-old U.S. citizen children. Ibai wants to make sure her daughter Cassandra gets a good education, and that may mean leaving her here. Because my mom says they're going to go to Philippines with my sister, but they're going to leave me here. They're going to make me stay uh, with someone else so I can continue my uh, school. A melting pot of Asia and the Far East during the gathering Sunday. Contract workers wonder what will happen to their families and air their frustrations with the system. <laughs> Shafiqul Islam is from Bangladesh with status expiration in August this year. I'm staying here too in years. I pay tax. I work nicely. Our company like us. Yeah. Hey? And the, suddenly they stop the door then, uh, without notice that the no CW renew. How is it? Our company like me. This is that's the like CW1 uh, when uh, we holding this one. It's my number, right? My seat, my chair. Right? Yeah. The suddenly they said, you move from your chair. Yeah. Why? What's the reason? Printuan, a Thai house restaurant employee from Thailand, expires in November. Yeah, we need help for the uh, contact worker. Chinese contract worker Chen Aliang expires in August. He's got four kids, all U.S. citizens, 16 years old, 12 years old, 8 years old, and 4 years old. We're waiting we have some good news for us so we can st still stay alive, safety, no need too much headache. Oleg Chernichenko's contract worker status expires on September 15th. He's been on island 19 years since 1997. He's from Russia. This is U.S. territory. This is done by U.S. federal government to U.S. economy and just it's beyond my, I just know, I don't understand it. Chernichenko pushes for what he calls a logical solution. Just let us work. We don't ask anything. Just let us work to pay taxes and just to be productive members of uh, society. Arsenio Hembra has been a contract worker here in the Commonwealth for 28 years with Mariana's Variety. Although he doesn't expire in the next three months, he was at the rally to show his support for the contract workers. Where are these people going to go? Just one of the many concerns raised by lawmakers in addressing the contract worker cap crisis. Representatives say they're hoping to meet directly with Governor Ralph Torres and the 902 negotiating team and now that they're returning from the consultations in Washington, D.C. They say they're holding off on a unified position until after that time as they let the process play out. U.S. people come here and go. They come here for a certain time. We have our attorney generals, most of them are here for two years just to start off and then leave us. But you, you stayed here. You made this, you, you decided to stay here and be a part of this community. I, I, for one, I would stand 
and support the intent that we should start looking into addressing the issue. Representative Lee Pon Guerrero's comments about the crisis drew applause from the packed gallery of contract workers listening in on the forum. Guerrero says USCIS needs to say the CW1 workers can stay if they want. Senator Jude Hofschneider explained to the lawmakers and the audience this is not a new issue. He says they dealt with similar concerns during the 17th legislature. Representatives and senators hope to get a meeting with more business leaders to get a clearer picture of the numbers of renewals, rejections and denials at this time. Despite the decision to wait to come to a unified position, Saipan resident Glenn Hunter advocated for a unified position now. And so a unified position from this body as well as our government in general should, should have been paramount and I think it still is paramount. It's very important that we let the federal government know what we as a, you know, as a, as a commonwealth want to happen on our soil, on, on CNMI soil. We're part of the United States. We're, because of federalization of immigration, we're, we're united with the immigration uh, positions that they take, but we're still a strong member of, 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 of the United States. And the 902 talks are one indicator of that. You know, they have to sit down with us, we have to talk, so that's important. Hunter noted the news the Torres administration made a last-minute change to their position paper before the consultations, calling for improved status for long-term guest workers. As part of the negotiations is good news. He says that means the position is fluid and it will be influenced by the lawmakers themselves. Representative Lorenzo De Leon Guerrero, in closing remarks, zeroed in on two words as a takeaway from the discussions. If we are, Mr. Speaker, members, if we are to learn something today in this gathering, it's basically two words, and these are humanitarian and crisis. If we are to learn something in this gathering, please remember these two words that were that were mentioned by the two outspoken uh, uh, speakers in this meeting. They are humanitarian and crisis. KSPN has learned some contract workers have already left the Commonwealth. Others making arrangements to leave in the next week, and the crisis is splitting up families. One contract worker, Janet, tells us she is not asking for green card status, but improved status, resident status, so she doesn't have to worry every year. Just to stay here, continue living and working. I'm supporting my family back home and helping them. There's a verdict in the case of Frank and Lily Tidini.